so merhaba from Antalya and now I am flying on Turkish Airlines 787 Dreamliner and this time in economy class so if you want to uh, see what the Dreamliner is like in business class check out the link right here and now I'm going to give you a quick nice uh, review of their new economy class product on the Dreamliner so let's go back to Istanbul Hey there, how are you? Good. I think you were... Yeah, just going back. But it's in the business class. Uh, yeah, this now? time now I'm, now I'm testing the economy class. Yes. <laughs> it's better. <laughs> it is. So, and welcome on board the economy class here on the Dreamliner. It comes in a 3-3-3 configuration. Uh, I'm literally, literally sitting in the last row. Uh, I wouldn't recommend this row to you because the recline here is a bit limited and uh, you probably squeezed in, in between the lavatories and the galley so it's usually quite a noisy uh, place to sit but I picked that um, because the flight is pretty full and on the seat map it said it was um, still available the whole row so maybe I'm lucky and I have the whole row to myself but this is what it looks like we have a screen here which looks um, fairly decent in size USB audio jack a table, you've got reading materials all right here. Uh, there's a pillow and of course the headrest. So, and let's uh, test the recline. I said like there is a limited recline right here. So, oh, well, it's still all right. So now, so thanks to the slim seat design here, the leg room is actually pretty decent. It's a full hand. Um, I think I had a better leg room though on China Southern 350 recently, which was very impressive. But uh, yes, that's what it looks like. You don't jam your knees, you don't hit them. Um, it is pretty average. They give out cheese sandwiches, pretty hot, um, yeah, if you were wondering, but I'm not hungry at all. So and now expect a comprehensive bathroom review. So, table, toilet, toilet covers, cologne, Hand and body lotion, a sink, soap, ashtray. So you get a big mirror and one of those beauty mirrors as well. Um, I guess a bit room here for other amenities. And I don't know whether you know that everything you flush down here at the sink is directly disposed, so it leaves the aircraft as in the air so back in the days they would just uh, when they had coffee left over or whatever they would just spill it here um, into the into the sink but it would create like brown like stripes and spots and stains underneath uh, on the belly of the aircraft so they don't do this anymore but yeah if you whatever there is Whatever goes into the toilet goes into a tank, so don't worry about it. It's not like that they drop poo out of the sky. It's not that bad. Maybe they used to, though. I don't know. Yeah, but this is the bathroom. It's totally 
looks very clean, obviously, the first flight. But what I do like is the color. Now I'm going to smell like a Turkish man. So as I mentioned on this flight, there's a lot of people who actually only booked that flight to be on the very first commercial flight of Turkish Airlines 787 uh, Dreamliner. And next to me, this is uh, Jeff. How are you? Uh, I'm fine, actually. Yeah. So Jeff is only 16 years old, right? Yes. You especially booked the flight today to be on the first Dreamliner. Yes, right. How do you like it? Yeah, it's really nice. It's, it's nice. quiet and well, like, seats are nice. Yeah. Feels like... Really nice. So is it your first time on a Dreamliner? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Uh, cool. As you can see, there are quite some choices, especially uh, a lot of Turkish movies. I don't even know whether we have some international movies here on a domestic flight. It seems like on a domestic flight, uh, Turkish Airlines doesn't offer any international movies. Interesting. So yeah, you can only watch some Turkish movies on this flight, uh, yeah, why not? Uh, the 787-9s of Turkish Airlines are also Wi-Fi enabled, just in case you were wondering. I must say that they already have a very decent economy class product on the 777. Um, as well as on their uh, Airbus T30s, so um, it's really hard to improve this product. So, um, but it is what you would expect from Turkish Airlines, it comes with a great in-flight entertainment. Of course, as I said, with uh, Turkish Airlines and the catering, it's always uh, a hit, not a miss. Uh, that is something that stands out with Turkish Airlines. But um, otherwise, the seats are slim seats, the leg room is just uh, just about right. You have the headrest here. Um, so it comes with all the features you already know from uh, the 777 Plus, uh, the in-flight Wi-Fi. And then, of course, on top of that, with the Dreamliner, you get all the perks of the new generation aircraft. For example, the bigger, wider windows, uh, the air conditioning on here, the uh, uh, reduced ca uh, the cabin pressure, which makes you all feel less fatigued, um, especially in a long haul flight, 15 hours. I mean, those, the, this plane can stay in the air for like 16 hours. Can you imagine that? Um, for, for example, the longest flight in the world is operated by the 787 uh, from Perth to London of uh, Qantas. So yeah, I think, of course, this is gonna bring a lot more to the passengers, but the hard product as such uh, is very similar to what you know uh, from the 777. So yeah, this is it, we're descending into Istanbul now. This was my uh, Turkish Airlines Dreamliner review in economy class. Uh, if it was helpful, please give it a like. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of Turkish Airlines uh, new Dreamliner and new economy cars. I mean, the Dreamliner is new, the economy cars doesn't feature too much new things. Um, but yeah, thank, uh, as always, thank you so much for watching and as usual, safe travels, guys.